Huh? Ice uh oh. Alright, headed to Jiu Jitsu. Uh, starting at 6 o'clock. Shoot. Kids' class just started. So tonight, for the last couple of weeks, we've been working on some mount stuff. So we're going to do uh, probably some battles today. Test out the mount, test out the mount escapes, and what have you. Attacks. But, um,. You know, I was talking with uh, Brandon McCatherine a while back, and he was talking about different things to do, and you're rolling different things to uh, experiment with in the spa at sparring at the end of class. So today is one of those days for me where I'm going to be focusing on from the bottom, putting people in guard, holding them in guard, controlling them, and attacking with specifically arm bars and triangles, those two together. I did have something else planned, but I've done that last week, so we'll focus on that today. Let me see how it goes. What are you going to focus on today, Jack? What? What are you going to focus on? to the mat and we can start going into the lapel and it's changing our mount and then start working different types of chokes even if it's just even if I just get to here I'm still trying to work to get the hand down I still have options to grab my Ezekiel um, one tip on grabbing your Ezekiel chokes is when I'm up here underneath the neck and I'm grabbing the material in here some people like to use the four fingers all the way in. Some people like to do just a couple of fingers. I'm usually just a couple. I don't like putting my whole hand in there. Uh, but whatever floats your boat. But when I do this, I'm not just posted up here on my elbow. I'm using my elbow to move his arm back or maybe hold his arm back here. I may have to post. I'm gonna post with my elbow. I may have to post here. I may have to move my weight over shoulder pressure you see this is kind of familiar i just don't have his hand out here you know the same thing we done the other week i'm posting out here and keeping my weight balance shifting my knees however i need to but if i get ready to attack and this arm comes out i want to move that arm back and hold it here because if it comes up he's, he's going to start defending he's going to start grabbing my hand he's going to start giving me problems i want it back here now I'm coming in here and I want to shift that over and start making my choke. All right. So, basic stuff, said it before. Most of the time I'm going to be attacking the hands, arms, before I attack the neck. If you're going straight in the neck, the arms are going to come up. If I want the arms, if I go here and two on one on the arms come here, I can jump to a high mount. Okay, so with our partner, we're going to take our mount, I'm going to go into the neck. When they go to defend, I'm going to jump to the high mount, or you can jump to the S mount. You're here, arms come up, I can jump to the S mount, alright? 
It's going to take some practice. You're okay, aren't you? <laughs> it's not that big of a landing. But if I got something to hold on to and his arms come up, he's not going to be able to fight the weight of my body coming up here. Okay? Remember what we did to the side to sides? When I talked about going here and putting all the weight on the hand, this is similar to it. Because when I slide here, I'm going to have to have the timing to weight up my hand and get to here. So my weight is going to be placed on my hand so my body can move. If I keep all my body, my weight heavy down here, you're not going to slide or you're not going to jump. I need to be leaning forward and come to here. Same principle as when we done these little swinging things side to side. Weight was on my hands or on my shoulders. Hands, shoulders. All right? Grab your partner. You can call this flying S mount <laughs> or whatever that you want to call it. You can just go to high mount. Once you get the high mount, throw you some S mounts in there. Okay. Uh, let's do let's do twenty. All right. Pretty sit. So here we are, roll time at the end of class, and I uh, actually did start on the bottom. Uh, the tape didn't show it, it got cut off. But I initially pulled a collar sleeve sweep. And you see me here, his hands are kind of stuck in and out. And initially, I wanted to kind of come to get the mount. But I'm leaving myself open by lacing the legs here by either attacking the leg or going to the upper body. But you weren't giving me the lower body, so I chose the, the upper body to move into a little inversion on, on a triangle. In the process of that, it allows me to isolate the forearm. So There's a little battle here to control the elbow to get the arm in the position that I want so I can either finish with the arm bar or finish with the wrist lock. So I was able to get the finish with the wrist lock and I was able to control the upper body with the legs and isolating the forearm. So we start over here. You see, he can see to the bottom position, so I didn't get to try anything off the bottom. So I gotta get my, my top game going. Here, just trying to pivot over the top, drop my weight on, and kill that hand over here. He ties me up with the legs. Here's some balance in the act, more long stepping and switching the hips back to trots down on top. He took the arm down before I wanted to go to the far side arm bar, so I still got the arm. Not an arm bar, but got the super grip for the Kimura attempt. Here I'm adding pressure, typical thing, add pressure to the elbow to the top secure the wrist with the gi so I can use my other hand my legs to make an attack and see what he gives me doing a good job of taking my angle away I mean, yeah, kept trimming back here and gripping onto my pants my intention now is to isolate the other arm by bringing it behind the body I actually want them to lean back and see me bring my right foot forward. I want to get the reverse triangle there. I don't think he's familiar with that attack, so we move on to elsewhere. Here I'm just trying to keep pressure and I'm actually trying to get more towards his back. But that was unsuccessful. I couldn't get him to go flat so I could take the back. It 
here. It's a little arm ride attempt back to the north south Camorra. The wrist there was out of position for any type of lock, more control than anything, distraction. on belly trying to pressure the mount doing a good job of staying um, tightened up in the fetal position not allowing me to pressure over into the mount right there was the end of the round ended with the cross choke here this next round I trying to get my bottom game going here uh, pulling her into guard which I was successful at that out here I trapped the elbow with the armbar attempt she knows what's what's coming, the armbar attempt, it's coming. So here I use it as a distraction, switch to my other arm, I distract with that one, then go straight into a little push-pull triangle. She was able to get posture there, and it's really a good defense to the triangle. So now I'm in the lapel, just trying to keep it broken down. I want to actually overhook that arm and get that right arm into an arm bar is what I was looking for. But I couldn't get over the top to tuck it up underneath. So what's back to plan B is get the triangle. The arm was there, the triangle was there. So I chose one of them and got the triangle. Now here I'm back on my top position. I almost left my arm out there so she can get that little uh, shin in sweep. Here I'm trying to control but I really didn't want the mount. I wanted to sit up so I could get a technical mount and do a back take. And here's something that we've been going over in class is just uh, how to maintain the mount and shift your weight uh, to the proper spot to attack the arms. And she, she knows it's coming. So here I go into the dismount. Doris wasn't there. Now I'm back to the north south triangle, isolating the top arm using the key to control the wrist and to the back trying to feed that lapel they got the control didn't get the sub I hear you see me try and scoot back into the reverse triangle but she keeps her arm back over there on the top of my leg as you know these are my training partners that are used to some of my attacks here's a smart move by her because it's an early attack for a bow and arrow right there she turns into it oh actually she turns out of it if she gets posture bag now i'm back on the bottom attempt to set up my attacks from the bottom she's doing a good job of keeping posture keeping her hands in good spots to where I can't make my attacks that I want I'm trying to get that arm out of there I'm trying to use my legs trap her right arm threaten with the cross choke get the hands where I want them use the legs to attack She was able to read that and escapes and here comes her attack. I'm trying to move backwards to get out of it and she has a hold of my lapel with her right arm. So I'm trying to roll into the knee bar, roll into the calf crusher. And she blocks that 
I keep it on the pedal so I can't roll. So I take the, the route through the forest thing. See if he doesn't take my bag, get to my bag, but I wanna give him the bottom side control. And that's the end of the round. Okay, what's up guys? We're gonna play some Roblox. <laughs> You're gonna be on the vlog. <gasps> And that's a wrap. We're playing Roblox. Boom. Ah, we're playing Roblox. We're gonna play some. We're gonna play some. Adopt me, and me and our dad we're gonna start a gaming channel. We all we're just gonna play Roblox on there Fortnite. That's a wrap. Ah!